Hello guys, Crystal here. Today is an absolutely amazing day. We finally got a proper look at Animal Crossing Switch, uh, now to be known as Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, the trailer we saw is very short, but there is a lot of detail to look at, so I wanted to break it down scene by scene. The beginning of the trailer mentioned the Nook Inc. charter flight arriving at a deserted island. It appears this island is the town for this game. One can speculate that when we arrive in our town, it's going to be via airplane. We then get our first glimpse of the game, and I must say, it looks very pretty and vibrant. I was expecting a little bit more detail, but perhaps that's still to come, or they're aiming for a very simplistic art style. Our next scene is the villager leaving her tent, which, following New Leaf's example, seems to be her first accommodation. She mentioned setting up her tent, so I guess that's how we decide where to live. There are a lot of weeds on the ground, many of them looking different to the weeds in previous games. Uh, the text box also looks a little bit different. I'd also like to note, the character's beginning hairstyle is one that in the past we had to get from Shampoodles, so I'm curious if we get to design our character's look in the beginning, or if that's just now a default hairstyle. The character then proceeds to shake a tree which drops branches. This is not something we could previously do in Animal Crossing, and I'm curious if there are other materials that might fall from, you know, non-fruit-bearing trees. Uh, in the background, you can also see that this island's native fruit is apples. The scene changes to what looks like the inside of a tent almost, with Nook and at least one of the Nookling brothers inside. The character seems to be working at some sort of crafting table, which they call Nook's workbench. I also want to point out, there's a jacket on the wall hanging behind Nook that may be an alternate costume for him during the colder months. Currently, Nook and the Nooklings are wearing cute floral shirts. Uh, there's also a machine in the bottom right hand corner that reminds me of the catalog machine from the previous games. The character uses the workbench to create a flimsy axe, apparently from the sticks that she picked up earlier. I'm curious if you can collect better materials to create better tools later on, or if you can still earn them from like events and that kind of stuff. Our next scene is the villager using her axe, which is interesting because you can see two different types of wood have come off of that one tree, and again the rock in the next shot. I'm curious what influences what types of materials you get this way. The next scene shows something I've seen so many people asking for, which is outside furniture. She threw down a normal looking item leaf, but I do wonder if maybe there are certain items that are outdoors only, or can we just put, you know, everything outside? Uh, beside her you can also see a picnic blanket or a towel and a radio, uh, both of which I'm guessing were also placed down by the player. Uh, it also appears that the beach is no longer down a long slope from the mainland, which is great because I just personally think it looks better this way. The scene changes to what looks like the next day, and the villager begins removing weeds from the ground to clear some space. I was thinking it would be neat if these weeds could be used to craft other items. Uh, the player then proceeds to place down what looks to me like a tree sapling surrounded by smaller buds of some kind. Uh, these could be flowers perhaps, and just, you know, now they take time to grow. She goes ahead to place down a couple more items, and I'm wondering if there's such thing as perfect town or, you know, I guess perfect island in this game? Uh, you know, would the items that you place down affect your town's status, like in New Leaf? Um, also, because these are just items and not, you know, public works projects, can we move them around freely? The villager then goes both fishing and bug hunting, and again, the tools she's using look much less sturdy than the ones we're used to. The weather does begin to change, and I just want to say, look at how gorgeous the water looks with the rain hitting it. You know, overall, the graphics are really starting to grow on me. The next scene is very interesting to me. We see the villager almost pole vaulting across the river, which is really fun looking, but I'm also thinking that since this is a deserted island, chances are there won't be any bridges until we make them, so we might actually need to use this method to get around. Something I'm interested in is the ability to straight up dig up trees around town from the next scene. Uh, this is something we've never been able to do before. Another new thing in this scene is a glimpse of our first villager, Olivia. Uh, she's sitting by the river, which gives me hope that villagers will have more range in terms of movement and interacting with the town. There is also what looks to be a larger object on top of the cliff in the top middle area of the screen. I'm curious if multi-layered towns are making a comeback or like, you know, just what that is. 
The scene changes and we get to see two more villagers, Freya and Eunice. One thing I find interesting is both seem to be wearing long sleeve shirts, which is a first in the series. Our villager is rolling a snowball to make a snowman and we also get to see how pine trees look. I would also like to point out that the villager house looks a bit different to what we're used to. The scene shifts to the inside of Fuchsia's house, which looks amazing by the way. Uh, there's another clothing change here, Fuchsia is actually wearing a proper dress, another first for this series. This next scene excites me far too much. Guys, look. Just look, proper paths. This is all I've wanted for so long. We seem to be using some sort of tool to create dirt paths around town, but I am curious if we can create stone or, or you know, wooden paths in the future. Uh, the player house is also expanded and looks really good, but I'm curious to see if the external house updates are a thing in this game as well. We also get to see Hamlet in the background watering some flowers. The next scene is very brief, but we see the player harvest a tulip flower bulb. I'm curious if this is how flower breeding is handled in this game, where a new flower doesn't just sprout up overnight. We get more footage of the various items you can place around town, another villager house, and what really interests me are the fences. I'm wondering if we'll have restrictions placing down fences just like we do with bushes in New Leaf. This last bit makes me incredibly happy. We get to see not just four, but eight players hanging out at the same time. I'm assuming over online. With all the players looking out to sea, you can spot what looks like other islands on the horizon. I'm curious if those are meant to be other players' islands, and if so, I'm guessing we might be seeing a lot more of Cap'n ferrying us around from and to friends' islands. One little thing that's super easy to miss, one player character takes out what looks like the phone from Pocket Camp, which I'm guessing is making some kind of reappearance. The phone is somewhat explained in this last scene, where Nook mentions a Nook phone as part of the player's bill. Also, another thing I want to add, the animalese sounds a lot different to me in this game, like less high pitch almost. Now, I know a lot of people are a little bit let down about the ending, where they announced the release date of March 20th, 2020, especially considering we were originally told a 2019 release. I'm honestly not too fussed, however, I want them to take as much time as they need to create the best Animal Crossing that they can. I look forward to making a series for New Horizon on my channel, and I hope you guys enjoy it as always. I'm gonna go ahead and include the links in the description for the original trailer if you haven't seen it yet properly, as well as the Treehouse Nintendo presented with more in-game footage for New Horizon, so be sure to check those out. I would also like to add, I currently stream Animal Crossing Leaf four days a week on my Twitch channel, and all of those streams also get uploaded here. If you guys enjoy Animal Crossing and want to join a family-friendly community, maybe consider sticking around. And as always guys, this has been Simply Press Start, where gaming is as simple as pressing start.